Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for January 20. Today is Friday of the second week of Ordinary Time. Let's have that moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. A humble, contrite heart, O oh God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What, what is, is evil, evil in your, in your sight, sight, I have done. done. That, that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart crave for me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. 
O oh Lord, Lord, I have, I have heard your renown, and, and feared, O oh Lord, Lord, your word. In, in the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from heaven, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with His glory, and with His praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light, rays shine forth from beside Him. When His power is concealed, you come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds, amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear, and my, and my body trembles, at the sound my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment. Through the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I will rejoice in the Lord and exult in my saving God. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of hinds, and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassions. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with fine fruit. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters for frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like grounds. The waters are frozen at his steps. He sends forth his word, and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his loss and decrease. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. Now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near through the blood of Christ. It is he who is our peace and who made the two of us one by breaking down the barrier of hostility that kept us apart. In his own flesh, he abolished the law with its commands and precepts to create in himself one new man from us who had been two and to make peace, reconciling both of us to God in one body through his cross, which put that enmity to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, everyone. It's a great ple uh, pleasure to be here with you and reflect together. 
the reading of this morning. St. Paul, it's sending a message through the whole church for the Christians. It's a reminder every time that great act of love that I'd say our Savior Jesus Christ has done for us. We were redeemed in the cross by Him. We have been redeemed by His precious blood. And thanks to that uh, great act of love of uh, our Lord Jesus, now we can come with great confidence to our God and have access to Him as children of Him, as children of God. It's because He rescued us from all evil in our, in our life. He is the new, crea uh, new, new creation. He's the image of the new creation, the new, the new man, the new figure that we all being called. The new creation that we are taken as an example. That you and me, we are walking to become a new creature. To become a new man, a new woman in the Lord. That we're walking this path of faith. This walking, walking this path of love, following Jesus. That he died on that cross, not just for one race, for everyone. When he was in the cross, he was thinking about me and you. Just take a moment, brother and sister, wherever you are, at home, at the car, or walking, or sitting, and having a cup of coffee. Just remember this. And reflect on this. Jesus loved you so much that he died hung in a cross for you and me. That you and me, especially you, being free. Free from all hate. Free from all evil. Free from all sin. That now you and me we have access to our great Lord, our Lord God. The barrier that was created, it was destroyed by Him, by His great love. Because He loved you so much. And I know that He loved me so much that He sacrificed Himself in the cross. Just to be one whole nation. Christian and we have one single father that is our common father that's why you and me we are brothers in Christ Amen The Lord the Most High has done good things for me in need, I shall cry out to him. The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need, I shall cry out to him. Me he sent his strength to rescue me. In need, I shall cry out to him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need, I shall cry out to him. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. 
through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant this was his oath he swore to our father abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life you my child shall be called the prophet of the most high for you will go before the lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our god the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen through the tender compassion of our god the dawn from on high shall break upon us Let us adore Christ who offered himself to the Father through the Holy Spirit to cleanse us from the works of death. Let us adore him and call upon him with sincere hearts. In, In your will, will is, is our, our peace, Lord. Lord. From your generosity, we have received the beginning of this day. Grant, Grant us also the beginning of new life. life. You created all things and now you provide for the growth. May we always perceive your handiwork in creation. With your own blood, you ratified the new and eternal covenant. May we remain faithful to that covenant by following your precepts. On the cross, blood and water flowed from your side. May this saving stream wash away our sin and gladden the city of God. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. In, In your, your will, will is our, our peace, Lord. Lord. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. O powerful Father, as now we bring you our songs of praise, so may we sing your goodness in the company of your saints forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our morning prayers is finished. Stay in peace. Thanks be Amen. to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.